Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are diving into an exciting topic that I have been eager to share with you. Before we jump in, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's start with our video. In this video, we are going to create very simple JavaScript function to remove specified elements from the left or right side of an array of elements. So, let's say we want to remove some elements from left and we have this array with one to three elements and I'm not passing any parameters as a second value. So it will remove first element from this array and output should be two and three. Similarly, we have another array, the same array one, two, three and passing value two as a second argument and it should remove two elements from left side and it should return three. Okay, so let's start creating our function. Let's go to JavaScript, create ES6 function. Let's give number, remove the name of the function, remove from left is equal to ES6 method, ES6 JavaScript syntax. Here we have array and M, that is number okay so let's use one javascript function and return array dot slice so slice is a javascript function that will slice your array the index the first argument will be the start index and second argument will be end index and both arguments are optional Okay, so it returns a section of a string or array in this case. So we are passing n. Okay, so let's see. Let me create one array constant array one is equal to array one, two, three, four, five, five elements. And let me call our function. So dot log remove from left. We will pass a1 as first argument and we are not passing anything or you can also pass one as second argument okay so one is n and it will pass here in slice okay let's inspect go to console and see it is written in two three four five because from index zero one two three four so it will start from index zero from left to right index zero it will remove one and this is one, so it will be index one and it will not remove index one because it will return this portion, which is two, three, four, five. So it is two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me change it to two. Then it will return three, four, five, zero, one. It will remove these two elements and will return these three elements from starting this index. Okay. Alright, so to make sure we are using in a correct way, we will pass this default parameter value that is 1 and if we are not passing anything, it will pass 1 as a default value. So it will give us 2, 3, 4, 5 and if we pass n, then it will return 4, 5. So it will remove 1, 2, 3 and from index 3 it will return the array it will slice and return the array okay so this is how you can remove your elements from left side also it will not update the original array so let me log our original array a1 and it will return the original value one two three four five okay so this is how you can remove elements from left Okay, now let's say I want to remove elements from right or uh, let's say you want some function that will return elements from the right. Okay, so what we can do, let me remove the rename the function remove from right. Here we will pass n is equal to minus 1 as the default value and this statement will not change because ultimately we are passing this value in slice function okay so let's see 
if you are not passing anything as second argument it should return yeah, we need to update our function name so now you can see it is returning element 5 this by so when you pass minus 1 as slice function argument it will slice it will remove or it will cut that array from right to left and it will return whatever we cut from that array so it ideally it should return one two three four but when you pass negative value as slice it will return whatever you cut or you whatever you slice from that array so it will return five let me pass it here let me pass minus two and guess what what it will return it will return four five so two elements okay and let's change it to minus three it will return three elements and again as you can see this original array is not updated original it will uh, so basically slice function will not update or modify original array so let's see what this slice function do so this is array prototype function and it is very good function uh, almost everywhere you see this function when, when you work with javascript okay so the slice method of array instances return a shallow copy of a portion of an array into a new array object selected from start to end so it will st start from start to end and this is very important it will not include it it will not include this end value where start and end represent the index of items in that array and again the original array will not be modified so this is demo this is one array with few elements animals and let's say i am passing two so what it will do it will slice zero one remove those two values and it will return these three elements so it will return these three elements camel duck and elephant let's see yeah, it is returning camel duck and elephant again slides to four so second argument is four this is end end value okay so what it will do it will start slicing from second argument or second index of an array so 0 1 it will remove these two elements and from index 2 it will start returning camel duck but it will stop when we uh, the function will find index 4 so 0 1 we already removed 2 3 it will return and 4 is the second argument the end value and it will not include it in this array so it will only return 0 1 second and third index elements similarly 1 5 so it will start cutting from 0 1 it will return this bison as well as camel duck and elephant and as we already seen this slice minus 2 it will slice from back and it will return two elements from right to left elephant and duck okay and if you will not pass any argument in this slice function and it will return the original array okay so this was the function in javascript to remove specified elements from the left or from right of array of elements okay guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel for more content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update also leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this video i will catch you in the next video